Hi everyone, it's Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again. Today I'm going to do a quick demonstration of another free DAW software available from Magic. It's called Samplitude Pro X Silver. Now Samplitude Pro X Silver, though it's not visibly available from Magic website, because it is part of a deal uh, made by MIDI tech industries where they create uh, MIDI keyboards and controller keyboards and so on. So they have a deal and with Magic for Samplitude Pro X Silver to provide as a free DAW. But uh, this uh, website link is available on my website. So if you want to download it and give it a try, the Samplitude Pro X Silver, just visit recordingstudio9.com and then at the top menu search for the free DAW list and in there you will find the link on Magic's website. Now uh, to get a free license for Samplitude Pro X Silver you do need a valid uh, email address because Magic will actually send you the license number to that email address and that is about it. Now Samplitude Pro X Silver is an introduction demo software DAW and it has few limitations. One of the main limitations is having up to only eight tracks, MIDI or audio, and two bus tracks. So in most cases, that might be good enough, uh, plenty enough to record a demo song. But for my purposes, I found it very useful to do mastering with it for any project that I do with Personas Studio One version 3 Prime the free DAW. Now Prime export uh, as a master track in WAV format and Samplitude Pro X can actually accept as a WAV as well as MP3 and then you can use all of its available plugins, VST plugins, to do mastering. I should also mention that it allows you to have as many plugins as you like VST plugins, 32-bit and 64-bit, uh, and also VSTi instruments, so you can have instruments as well. I should mention that. And it can export to WAV as well as MP3. So one of that's one of the good advantages. I'm not going to go through the demonstrating the software. I'm just going to demonstrate how I use Samplitude Pro X to master my last song that I did in Presonus Studio One Version 3 Prime. Um, mastered it and exported it as mp3 and now you can hear it on my YouTube channel. So this is the process that I took. So uh, I basically uh, saved the project now but you could import the WAV file from Studio One's uh, master output folder and this is what it looks like. So that's my track now loaded. I only have two tracks. I tried to use the second one for um, loading up another commercially available song similar to my one so I could compare it and look how my song sounded compared against a commercial release one and adjust a few things. I got it close enough so it, it wasn't that that's why that there's a second track there. The layout and the workflow is very similar to any other DAW including Studio One uh, Prime where you have your tracks here, your timeline here with your objects, and then you have your track editor here and plugins. You can also have your mixer. You can bring it up. So it's only the, oops, it's only the two tracks there and everything else, which I'm not going to go through. But what I have done is I've added three plugins to do the mastering. So let's close that. So let's have a quick listen of the song mastered already with those three plugins. Morazir, Mihishir, 
میشیر برسیر لمنگیران Okay, so that is the mastered track that eventually ended up sounding like. So let's go through and find out what difference it made from the original mix output to the mastered output by turning all of the plugins off. I should also mention, as you can see from the waveform, how the, my output from Studio One uh, Prime it has lots of dynamics, got lots of space, it's not squashed in. And with mastering, what I'm trying to do is not only adjust some of its EQ and then uh, add some compression and then add some volume. And I'm doing that by the EQ, uh, the multiband dynamics and the maximizer. All of these three plugins are standard plugins that come with Samplitude Pro X Silver. I have not added any new plugins into it. So let's have a quick listen and then compare uh, the original mixed output to the mastered output again. This is the original mix with no plugins at all. Notice the dynamic range. The peak is going from minus 5 all the way to minus 20. Okay, so now let's all of the plugins in. Now we have about minus 1 dB to minus 5, minus 6 dB. Okay, now let's go through each one of those plugins and see what I have done with them. The equalizer. This is the built in equalizer, it's called EQ116. It can have up to six bands and what I have done is with the uh, first band I've done a high pass at 12 dB octave about 70. I thought after a few days of listening to the song uh, and in the mix I thought maybe the bass was a little bit too high so I tried to cut some of the bass uh, down and then I eased a little bit down the about 500 Hertz to just give it a little bit of uh, cleanliness and then extended about 4 kilohertz, about 2.8 dB up. Again, a little bit wide, just to give my vocals and the rest of the instrument a little bit of clarity. The next is our dynamic range. This is a multiband uh, dynamic compressor and you can have up to 4. Again, this is built in. You can select different range of each one of the um, compressor with the frequency. And you can also have expander compressor as well. And that's what I have selected. Comp Max is actually expanding as well as compressing, depending on uh, the input volume. You can also have just compressor or just expander and a gate and a limiter as well. So you can play around with those things. But I wanted to actually bring up some of the volume. So that's why I want to use compressor and maximizer in there at different frequency ranges. Okay, so that's the multiband compressor. The last thing that I'm actually adding is the maximizer. Maximizer is sort of like a limiter, like a brick limiter thing, and it maximizes even further. So it squashes a, a lot of this of the dynamics of it. So let's have a quick listen what difference it makes. So I'm just going to bypass it now. As you can see, we have no reduction. We add it on. Well, that's uh, how I actually use Samplitude Pro X Silver to master my song uh, exported in Studio One version 3 Prime. Well, this demonstration only showed a fraction of what Samplitude Pro X Silver can do for you. 
Um, you can, as I mentioned, you can have up to eight tracks, two auxiliary tracks, and as well as any VSTi plugins. If you own any, you can import them. You can have up to six plugins per track. It includes automation, MIDI in and out, and whole heap more. So if you like to experiment and find out about Simplitude Pro X Silver, you can head out to my website, which is recordingstudio9.com, and there's a link there for you to take you to Magic and download it. And if you like my video and demonstration of Samplitude Pro X doing a mastering of a song, you can give me the thumbs up. That way I know it was helpful. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way any new software, DAWs, paid or free, that uh, comes in front of my studio, I'll be able to demonstrate it and you'll be able to find out ASAP. You can also visit my website, recordingstudio9.com. There's a lot more information there as well. And until next time, thanks for watching and have a great time making more music. Bye-bye.